Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome back to my studio. Today um, I thought we would do just a really kind of a quick, well, I anticipate it to be quick, but you know, uh, <laughs> sometimes that's not always the case. Anyway, um, this is a what's on my desk use up some ephemera, use up some scraps type of thing. So what I have here is two pieces of paper, just plain, it's just plain cardstock. And these happen to be three and three fourths wide by eight inches tall. But yours, I mean, it could be any size you want. Be mindful of what would fit into your journal. That's the only thing you have to be aware of is what will fit in your journal. So um, I am going to round the top because I like that. And I am going to use some ground espresso uh, you again you can use any inks you want to or no inks at all that's totally up to you but i'm going to use ground espresso and just go around Kind of making a halo effect. These these brushes work really well for this, by the way. I don't like the swirl effects that you get with some other applications, applicators. Uh, but this one, especially if you start outside of it and, and go in, you, you don't get that. So... I like that. Okay. So I kind of got a halo going around it. Now I'm going to use Rusty Hinge. I'm kind of obsessed with this color right now. I've never really used it that much. And um, I saw someone using it the other day on a video and thought, huh, I have that one, don't I? I do. And uh, I started using it, and it's like, wow, this is a perfect color for like an autumn journal because it, it's kind of um, a muted orange color. So, yeah, it's really good for, for autumn-themed journals. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really kind of obsessed with the color right now <laughs> so yeah it's it's kind of a muted orange so it's really pretty okay so now the other thing you want to do and this is also cut from cardstock is just to cut some some squares that are Am I in frame? The the same width as as your you know backing. Um, this is going to be pocket. Now you could do one, or you could do two. You could make this one smaller. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that. And I am not going to run the risk of messing this up by using my scissors because I can't I can't cut straight so <laughs> we're gonna do it that way oops that wasn't really okay all right so kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing with this you could do something different too. I mean, you could make your background, you could use one color ink on your background and a different color ink on your pockets. 
all kinds of stuff you can do. I mean, it's endless, really. <laughs> you know, and it's funny. I mean, two pieces of paper, endless possibilities. Two or three pieces of paper. Endless possibilities. It's amazing, isn't it? Hey, you want to say good morning to everyone? Thank you for joining me. We have a lot of new people joined our little community. So I used to call it a little family, and we kind of were, but we have grown substantially in the last month or so. So now it's a community, and I love seeing your comments and your suggestions and everything. I'm sure everyone else is benefiting from those as well. So thank you. Thank you for those. And thank you for a special thank you for the encouragement and the positive feedback I've been getting from people saying how much they enjoy my channel, how much they have learned, or the imagination and the creativity that they have experienced, that's always, I mean, that's my main, main thing is not that you do what I do, but you take what I'm showing you and you let your imagination run and you might create something totally different but it's you know based on something you you've seen here so you know that is like the best compliment ever okay so now i am going to run my glue around the three sides And get this glued down. Now you could glue it anywhere you want. I'm gluing it pretty much on the bottom. I'm just coming up a hair. You know, it's not even an eighth of an inch. It's just a hair I'm coming up. Okay. And then your second one, you know, would be up here somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna gonna wait. This I left I left kind of a white area in in here and well it's a little stark so I'm gonna just go over that a little bit more. <laughs> All right. Ooh, now the fun part begins. So yeah, endless opportunity endless possibilities i mean so you just you just use what's on your what's on your desk i'm sure you've got stuff floating around i do i got all kinds of stuff floating around so I have a vast, and I mean <laughs> vast, library of digitals that I have bought. Vast. So, um, unless I tell you a specific digital kit that something comes from that I'm using, um, I don't ask me <laughs> you know you watch a video and you say oh you know you ask me you know what digital kit is that or I don't know okay I'm just telling you right now unless I specifically mention it in the in the video because I'm doing something special like I did a whole series on Shabby Dabby Doo Dah Digital Pockets. She has about eight kit 
pockets, which are called perfect pockets. And I did a whole series. I bought, I, I bought all eight digital kits from Tina. And I did, you know, videos on using each one of the kits, what's in the kit. And then I made two pockets on the video and I made two pockets off camera. And then at the end, I showed all the pockets I made, the ones on camera and the ones off camera, only using uh, items from her kit, except for uh, things like bling, you know, and stuff like that. Um, I can't rem I can't remember now. I set some some guidelines for myself on what I could use and what I couldn't use, and I couldn't bring in any other ephemera, but I could use things like, you know, bling and, and stuff like that um, when making the pockets. So, a lace, I think lace or fabric was another thing that I could bring in, but other than that, I used what's in the kits. And that was a lot of fun, and of course that was specific. So I did tell you, you know, that it was Shabby Dabby Doo Dah Perfect Pockets. So if you're interested in that, it, 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 was, it was a little while ago. Um, I don't know, uh, maybe four months ago-ish. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you could, you could look for that. It's uh, Perfect Pockets. And I think I put hashtag shabby dabby doo -dah on it. Um, she didn't know anything about it. <laughs> I have bought a lot of her digital kits, but she doesn't know me. Um, so anyway, yeah. So that that was specific, and I did name that. I was on, um, I was a guest designer for Happiness in Crafting. Uh, G asked me to be a guest designer. I think it was last June. I don't think it was this June. I think it was last June. So I do have some videos where I specifically was working with one of her kits. And, and then uh, there again, I did name the kit and everything. But yeah, and unless I name the kit on the video, you know, I, I'm sorry, but I am not going to know. Uh, for the most part, anyway, I'm not going to know because I have literally a vast library of kits that I've bought. So anyway, that's that story. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. Um, let's see. What do we have? I'm just, oh, I probably, you're not probably not seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a secret. Oh, that might be something we could use. Um, so I am just kind of looking through my little stash of stuff. What is that? That's just a piece of paper. <laughs> um, so I'm looking through my stash of stuff. This, this stuff is floating around on my desk all the time. Uh, and I throw bits and bobs into it. And it really... Ooh, that's pretty. See, this could go in a t completely different direction than what I was thinking. We could do that. We can cut this off down here. Uh-huh. 
And well, the B could go well with that. Never give up. That could go well with that. And a little bit of lace could go well with that. We need something else here, don't we? I think we do. What would it be? That's a little bit too big, isn't it? No. That's too big. Of course it's too big, silly bird. Silly, silly bird. Sorry about my squeaky chair. <laughs> I uh, got a new chair and it did not work out. Um, there was something wrong with it. One side was, oh, about a half inch higher than the other side of the seat. And, you know, just enough to be to throw my back off. And it ended up causing me quite a bit of um, discomfort. And I tried to contact the company uh, to get some help on, you know, what was going on. And um, they did not respond, so I just ended up returning it. So now I'm back to my squeaky chair. <laughs> would be good. That heart would be better because it's matching those flowers. A butterfly. Butterflies are always good. Oh boy. What do we got? Uh, see, we always get too many things going. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I have an extensive library of digitals. It's massive, actually. It's rather unruly, to tell you the truth. Oh, there's a little one, but it's the wrong color, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. I had one idea, but then it morphed into another idea. All these little photos. I'd like to be able to use those. Oh, we could sit here all day, could we not? Okay, so what are we going to do here? I like that, and this actually goes with... So I'm just going to cut, cut that white that's coming through on the end of the paper there. Okay, oops, like, you like my little bee? I drew my little bee, and then I used watercolors and put just put over it. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, um, we could put that up there. That's what we could do. So we'll have that there. We could put that there. That could go there. And 
yellow doesn't work. Do we want this little um, garden fairy? We could have this garden fairy in here. So I am going to trim off the bottom of this. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I don't know if you can see it or not, but I I put, um, dot, uh, what is it? Something accent. Oh, glossy accents. I put glossy accents over that. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's not only is it just shiny, but it also has a texture. It's almost like rain on on the petals it's really cool all right that's what we're doing okay i need to do something with this little guy go okay we are good so get out my glue oh you know what I just thought of something else before we do that I am going to what am I using here sorry I am using Vintage Photo and running it over this stamp that I also had floating around on my desk. And we're just going to put it across there like that. And maybe again right here. Now, I'm glue down this heart. I tell you, this is just this is just so much fun. Just you know, just cut yourself a piece of paper uh, for the size of journals you typically do, and then yeah, just. Start using the stuff that's floating around on your desk or get into your scrap, get into your ephemera and and just start start creating these um I don't know what I call these. What would you call these? Tag tag with a pocket tag with pockets I mean it's nothing it's nothing that hasn't been done before right I mean this is not earth shattering stop the presses <laughs> look what Maxine has discovered no oh. so we want that right there and we want the little saying on there. And where did I have this? Did I put it up there? I think I did. Let's see. I got stuff on there. I think I did put it up here, didn't I? Let's put that right there. Okay, and this, yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it just, it's not a, a solid, I don't know if I did this on purpose or on accident, but the um, 
glossy accents ended up creating a texture to where it looks like rain has fallen and, and sitting on these petals. That's what it reminds me of anyway. So that's kind of cool. All right. Is there a place for you? I think so. I think so. Okay. So we want fabric fix. Which I'm almost out of this. I ordered it, but I didn't get it. So which way does that go? Anyway. And like I said, you know, if you're looking for the right side of fabric or lace or whatever, and it's not something that jumps out at you right away, then I don't believe it matters. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, if you can't tell right away which is the right side, then I don't think I would be too concerned about it. Okay. So, I think this little piece was from the fairy journey journal I did. I have this um, fabric that has garden fairies on the fabric. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the person was in the Ukraine. So... That made me feel good to, you know, help somebody out that is in there. Um, I can't believe. I mean, I don't think any of us, unless you've experienced that, I don't think any of us could even imagine what it's like to be living in a place that's getting bombed and stuff. I just, oh, I can't even imagine it. No, probably not. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna call that one done. So I have this stash of little little tags, just all kinds of little tags. So. There's that one. There's one. I don't have any little, little ones for that. I don't think. Although I thought I did. But. Uh oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, my glasses just fell. Sorry about that made you jump. There we go. <laughs> Hee -haw. So there's that one. Oh, why are you doing this? You're just wasting yourself. Why are you wasting yourself? I don't know, there's hardly any glue in this bottle, and yet whenever I use it and set it up, it, it comes oozing out of the top. It's just the oddest thing. And it's wasting itself, and I don't have that much left. Cover up that before I get that glue all over me. Where's our other one? Here we go. So, we could take this one in another direction, if you want. So we could go with Broken China and maybe Salty Ocean. Um, do I have one that's not full of 
brown. <laughs> I guess we could do, I don't want to do broken china. Okay. So, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I didn't start that one very good, so I got a mark that I don't like. Okay. It's amazing to me how different colors seem to behave differently. Have you noticed that? With these inks, that different colors behave differently? I have. And you just never know what you're going to get. <laughs> you know? Okay. Oh boy, that didn't. I don't like that. Yeah, see, it's not going on as evenly or as nicely as the Ground Espresso does. So, yeah, I don't know why. Okay. And we'll get this one put on there. Hope everyone's having a good week, enjoying your days, finding time for crafting, hopefully, even if you just sat down and just make up some of these, you know, doesn't take a lot of time, don't have to sit and think about it too much, right, just... Just get in there, get your hands dirty. Okay. I have noticed when it comes to using stamps, there seems to be a difference between the Distress Ink and the Distress Oxide on how they work with a stamp. Okay. All right. going to glue this one down. Now you could put, you could cut a thumb, thumb, um, not a hole, but what do they call that? A thumb thing in the top of your pocket if you wanted to. And again, I am going clear down to the bottom, but just a hair, a hair up from the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to round the corners just because I like that. And get that again. Hit that with some ink. Oh, you're not staying down there very well. Okay. So, now what do we want to do? You know, I have these that I made. I really want to use them. Do they work with this? I got it. I really want to use these. They're so pretty. But even though 
I love them. They don't really go with my journals. You know, it's just not my vibe as far as my journals go. Okay, so I am going to leave a little border. And trim that down. So, let's see here. Am I in camera? I don't know. I'm just cutting. <laughs> this is uh, some paper. I, I, well, I didn't make the paper, but I... I did the design using uh, Mika spray, Mica, Mica, Mica spray, and some inks and and some stamps and stuff like that. And really liked how it turned out. All right, so that's pretty. Okay. And I want to get out the salty ocean and kind of run around, run around the side here. Run really fast. Don't leave a big trail. There. What do you think? I like it. I do, I do. I have to say. Oh, and I had all these. I had this backed, too, for a journaling card. <laughs> With actual lines for writing. get you in in there right push down there I'm liking that a lot ooh does that go so oh boy I don't like the men photos, do you? <laughs> I, I don't know what. Oh, there's a little one I made. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't use the men photos. I don't really care for them. I don't mind the little boys, the little girls, the women, of course, but the men photos I'm not too uh, crazy about for some reason. Once in a while I've used them when it makes sense to do so, but it usually doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right. Um, so, what's that? Let's just piece of nothing. Yeah, I'm sure you've been hoarding that for a long time. Okay. Oh, my. All right. I can do that later. 
Okay. So, we got some things here. So you just start pulling things out and, and I don't know, it just kind of makes itself. Ooh, that's a better one. Just kind of makes itself. I don't know. That, I love that. I've been hoarding it for a while. I haven't really found a good place for it. That's the wrong color. Well, that butterfly is probably the wrong color, too. Ah! That's a good color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, kind of like, kind of like that. I don't know. I think that works. What do you think? I think that works. Oops. Oh, did I get that on me? No, I didn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> so, if I put this color on here, that's going to bring the right color into it. Kiss it around. Close that up. All right. So, um, do we want the bird? Do we? Do we? That's a little much, isn't it? I like this up here. I don't want to mess with that. I like this bird. It's a good color. Maybe I'd just put it there, huh? I think so. sure that I got you in the right going the right way so you're not ended up standing on your head or something <laughs> all right see this is just so cool to just to use this stuff you know it's been of course, this is <laughs> just a dent into what I have, but it's a few more pieces that have found a home. And this will all be ready to go whenever I'm doing a journal and, and these colors or whatever works for that journal, then, you know, I have already got a lot of ephemera that, that I can just stick into a journal and not have to make stuff. So that makes putting a journal together go really fast when you already have a lot of things ready to go. Now, I was hoping that would have blue on it. Don't have look at that my oh that's really thick oh my I got ink all over my fingers I 
Well, I have a lot of pink for some reason. Maybe this one will work. Yeah, there we go. How about that? So, there we go. Move this stuff out of the way. I've got some cleaning up to do. <laughs> but, so, here's the two we made. I like those. What do you think? I do. I like those. And these two I made before I turned on the video. So there's that one and this one. So this one I left the corners square and I added, you know, the two pockets. This one I rounded the corners like I, I, I like to do and it's got the one pocket. So, and then this, yeah, this is two. So, two and two. This is a, a little smaller one than what I use there. So, anyway, so there we are. And there's a blue one, and the rest of these are the Ground Espresso and the Rusty Rusty Nail. Was that it? <laughs> I've lost it. Aww. Oh, I put it away. Rusty Hinge, excuse me. So, anyway, thanks for joining me today. I hope you found some in inspiration from this. So just sit down, knock out a piece of paper that's the right dimensions for your journals, and just start using some scraps and some ephemera that you have floating around. Uh, until next time, take care of you. Love each other, and I'll see you again. Bye.